Good evening, everyone. Good evening. How's everybody doing now? Oscar Blue for Border Network News. I will wait for a few people on the feed so we can start. Uh, there was an apprehension right now of 10 individuals. 10 individuals on this particular spot that I've been visiting for a long time. As you can see, Border Patrol is on the top right there. This is the bridge point that I'm always at. Uh, it's been a little while since I uh, visited this bridge point. The reason why uh, is was because I was coming here too often and speculation was that there was a rumor that you know a lot of uh, big names over here they were moving around from this place so you know we're trying to stay safe but this is uh this is a breach point that is that is clearly one of the most open breach points right here in the city of tijuana over there in the top you see the border patrol apparently there was uh uh, there was 10 people that just they just got captured and that is the reason why the border patrol is all the way on, on the top uh, you know I wanted to come over here and just uh, give you guys this little update so this is apparently you know And we have some movement right here on the mountains. We got some movement right here. I will flip the camera right now. So you guys will see how much activity right here is. Look at this guy right here. Walking right here. Look at this guy. And he has a backpack and everything. So these guys are like ready to go. These people are ready to go right here. You can see this. You know, they're moving around the mountain. They walk around. And they're waiting for the border patrol to go away. That's what they're waiting as he is. He's looking. He's looking to the to the place where the border patrol is at. The border patrol is all the way up top. So this is what they do. Look, he put his jacket on on his face, so he will, you know, so he will blend in. But this is I don't have the I don't have the gitmo right now, people. I got a bark. I got a barking dog right here. What's up with this car? Uh, I don't want to stay here that long because I don't want to bother the neighbors. But I will go to another breach point. Uh, you know another spot that you guys already know which spot it is that is on the neighborhood and over there But apparently there was a capture of 10 people right here. Uh, I Don't come that much over here uh, The neighbor right here uh, He messaged me, you know now and then and He told me you know what blue there was a big you see that light over there on the top They're flashing a light over there. Who is it? See right there on the top. This is coyote activity to the fullest, people. That is wow. There's activity all the way to the top. I don't know what is it. Let me let me just make a close-up right here to see what is it. There's activity right there on the top of the mountain. As you can see there's a flashlight. And they're looking for people and those ones are agents from the inami probably right there the flashlight no those are border patrol agents they're looking for somebody they're looking for somebody as you see in that flashlight right now as i just told you there was a breach of apparently 10 people and there's the flashlight right there you see a border patrol that is flashing. You see that? He's looking for somebody. Apparently they're hiding. And 
I was doing a watch party uh, yesterday about the Border Patrol and the risks that they take. Look at this Border Patrol. He's all alone, man. And this place, that is a cliff. Look how, how steamed that cliff is. And he's alone with all these cartel activity. This is crazy right here. Uh, I don't have the stabilizer. You must, you must excuse me, people, if I'm moving all over the place. I'm trying to hide so I won't look that obvious. But this is, there, there's a border patrol right there with some flashlight and there's the, there's the border patrol unit right there. He's not that far away. He's using his flashlight to apparently, you know, look for someone. And this is what I'm telling you. Like there was a, uh, this neighbor right here with the dog is barking. He just told me like, hey, this just captured like apparently like 10 of them. So I might as well, I haven't been here for a little while. And this is the, this is right now the activity. This is the cliff right here. It's open right there. As you can see, the wall ends right there. And on top, on the on my far right, there is the Border Patrol agent right there. And on the mountain, there's a Border Patrol with a, with a flashlight looking for irregular migrants. He goes, he's flashing on top. He's doing, a, uh, you know, he's risking his life over there. He, God knows who is over there in that mountain. And this is the, you know, this is the hard work that the United States Border Patrol is doing. Look at his flashlight. He's flashing over there. He's going over there in the mountain. For everybody, hi, I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. We are live, people, right here at a breach point where apparently there was a, there was a breach of a, uh, around 10 people. That is the United uh, the, uh, the Border Patrol right there unit, and that is the United States Border Patrol agent right there with a flashlight, as you can see, in the mountains and in the bushes looking, looking for uh, irregular migrants. That they're right there hiding, or I don't know what... You know, they're, they're, apparently 10 was not enough. They're looking for more. And if they're looking for more, it's because probably there is more. He's going up the mountain. He's, he's, you know, he's walking in those bushes. Uh, you know, right now is uh, snake season. So, <laughs> believe me, people, there's a lot of rattlesnakes right here in this particular part. And this agent... You know, he's over there in the bushes. He's flashing the light now. He's flashing the light. Apparently, he found something. He's flashing it constantly. As you can see right there, he's flashing it. This is amazing, the work that they do, man. This is amazing, the work that they do. Why? Because I believe, and, and I'm really, and I'm 100%, I'm 100% accurate. The, this guy right here, this unit is that guy. And is the only person right now that is doing this job. Going on that mountain searching for people. Oh, almost dropped it. Almost dropped the phone. Sorry. So right there, all the way to the top, You'll see him right there flashing the light as he is going up. And we saw him right now. Walk, look, look how much he walked, like all the way from here in the mountain, all the way to the top. That is a lot, people. And we're, got, look at this guy. Look, this is the activity that I'm talking to you about. This is why they're out, they're out hunting the border patrol this is why look this is the kind of activity that we see on this cliff there's a lot of people walking with backpacks this individual is just checking where the border patrol is at and there's a lot of movement right here as you see one right here walking 
this is why the border patrol is out there at the mountain checking I don't know if he's looking back, but he's going over there in the cliff and in the mountain. I'm right here where the border patrol is at. And this guy just went, I don't want to focus the camera. He just went on the bushes and he's hiding. He's going over there to the wall. Oh yeah, there's activity right here, people. There's activity over here. Flashlight right there, you see? I don't know if they're watching me or what they're doing. Let me put the hoodie on. We got some activity. I got some activity right here to my right. They're moving, they're moving right here. There's a lot of movement right here. As you can see right there, there's a... He's moving right there, as you can see. He's going down the cliff. And I don't know if somebody's pointing me the light or something, but I believe somebody's pointing me a light Look, you see that light? You see that light right there? Border Patrol over there to the top. Something's gonna happen right now. I know something's gonna happen right now. For everybody, uh, welcome everyone. I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. We're live right here in Tijuana, Baja, California. This is a, a breach point where apparently 10 people were apprehended right now as we uh, evidence how the Border Patrol was walking through all those bushes uh, with his uh, flashlight, along with his flashlight. And we just witnessed that. And we just witnessed a lot of activity right here at the mountain. It's a lot of activity. And I see a flashlight on my on my right. But I don't see. I don't see if they're pointing at me or they're doing signals. And if it is a phone, or if it is a flashlight, but it is to my right, right here. You're gonna see it in a minute. Let us see if uh, there's gonna be an, irre an irregular entry or an illegal entry to the United States right now. Let us stay for a few minutes. As we see the Border Patrol on the top, but they're flashing the light constantly, so that means that there's gonna be movement in a few seconds. Uh, for everybody that is just tuning in, 
Uh, I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. We're live right here in Tijuana, Baja, California. This is a breach point for everybody to know. It's a huge breach point. It's a cliff. Right there, that little... Uh, that uh, peak right there with the wall ends. And it goes all the way down. It's a huge opening right there. But you got the Border Patrol on the top, the unit, as you can see. And the Border Patrol was uh, apparently looking for somebody over there in that cliff of the mountain. Real dangerous. It's real steam and it's real uh, slippery. And it's snake season right now. Rattlesnakes, there's a lot over here. That's why I haven't come in today over here because there's a lot of rattlesnakes. But apparently, the you know, I came over here because the neighbors from here, you know, I know them. So they told me, you know, hey, Oscar, uh, there was a, uh, they just apprehended a whole bunch, around 10 of them. So this is the reason why there's a lot of movement right here. And I know that they're going to wait here for, you know, for everybody to know, coyotes wait for hours. They're real patient. They're real, real patient with their activity. Uh, you know, they are really smart when it comes to uh, tracking uh, the Border Patrol. They know exactly their timing. They know exactly when they change shifts. They know exactly how much time it's going to take them from point A to point B, from point B to point C. They know exactly everything. So they're really smart with that. And if they're signaling right now with a flashlight or they are, are giving codes right now, it means that it means that something's gonna happen. And, you know, as we've seen in the past for everybody that is just uh, getting to know me, for the new viewers, I've been broadcasting from the Oscar uh, Blue page, from this peak, from this particular peak. We have encountered right here a band, a white band that is dropping off people. We have encountered uh, more than 10 apprehensions right here. And this is a Charlie area. For everybody to know, what is a Charlie is the cartel area right here. It's a really strong cartel area right here. Over there to the top, there's see some movement right there. Uh, some vehicles on the United States side. This is a really strong area. Uh, this area right here, is, they have a lot of uh, little houses that they're built, wood houses. And, you know, a lot of people are going to ask why there is houses over here on this cliff, you know, on this mountain. Who gave them the authority to build a house? Well, you know, those houses, apparently they are for holding or uh, hosting uh, immigrants. And also, uh, you know, the, the most amazing thing is that the authorities, the Mexican authorities are not doing anything about it. So that gives you practically an idea of how everything is so corrupted over here. And how, you know, uh, the, uh, the word authority right here, the war, or the word uh, police, or whatever it comes with law enforcement, really, uh, it's, just, it, it's just corrupt. Is that uh, some kind of pit of a hole? Yes, it is kind of a cliff. It is a cliff and it, and it goes down into a pit. So it is it is both. Apparently it's kind of a, it, it, it's, it goes, uh, it's some kind of the, 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 the two options. You know, it's, it's, it is a pit and it is a cliff. But it is where the wall, it doesn't have no wall at all. So we just witnessed uh, a border patrol on the cliff side right there uh, going and with his flashlight and a dangerous uh, cliffside where you know their slit is really you know dangerous they can slid instant easily all the way to the bottom as you can see how 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 uh, steam that is we witnessed that also we witnessed a lot of activities out here walking around in the bushes and you know I don't know they're going to wait but I will, I will wait here for a little bit, people. I don't want to keep you uh, waiting on the same spot to see if they're going to cross or not. 
but uh, for everybody to know, um, you know, we just came here because the uh, there were ten more than ten people apprehended right now that that had just crossed from this point. So we are basically right now waiting to see if uh, there's going to be some crossing. No, we saw some activity right now. We saw some movement on my on my right side. We saw some movement. Not only that, we saw the guy wearing a backpack walking down slowly. But the unit of the Border Patrol is not moving. And are we supposed to share this out? If you want to. No, nobody is forcing nobody if you want to share it out. It's just, uh, it's just a broadcast and a coverage of a cliff right here where it's open in Tijuana, Baja, California. Uh, how you doing? I'm Oscar Blue. And I'm just broadcasting and doing a coverage uh, for everybody to show everybody that there was a breach point right now at this particular point. where uh, the Jets apprehended more than 10 uh, irregular migrants. So, and there was a border patrol right there on the top. You see another vehicle coming down. There's a lot of movement right now. This is when, when there's a lot of units moving around, it's because there was a lot of movement. So, this is uh, right here a cliff that is wide open. You can see, you know, you can see a, a Border Patrol officer right there parked all the way to the cliff. They usually don't park there. Where they usually park is right here at this little road. They park right there. And right now he's parked on that side. So probably there was activity on that side. So we're gonna wait here for a couple minutes. They're not going to do anything because they, uh, you know, they just captured or apprehended 10 of them. So I don't think there's going to be mobility right now. But this is uh, really important for you guys to know. Uh, Border Patrol doing their job. Excellent job, by the way. They're doing their job right now. As they just apprehended more than 10 of them. And also, uh, a Border Patrol agent was searching in those bushes right there we see some activity right here people look at this look at this activity right here this guy is he's carrying a mattress but those are the kind of mattress that they use and i see a light over there that is just watching me This guy's with a mattress right here. Look at this. And he took the mattress because probably they don't want to be seen. They know that there's a lot of movement right here. You see him right there. So yeah, there's a lot of movement. It's a hell lot of movement. And you can ask yourself why they carry a mattress. And they carry a mattress for a number one reason. They carry a mattress because they don't want to be seen. 
There's a light over here on my right. You can see right there is a light over here on my right, right there. You see that? This guy, or the, he's calling on the phone or he's just flashing the light. And I don't know what he's doing. Or, or he's calling on the phone or he's just flashing the light. Right there. So yes, there's, there's a lot of activity right here. Still with the flashlight. This guy is still with the flashlight. And it's just, you know, right there, the flashlight. You see it right there? Right there, that little dot that you see right there. That is a flashlight right there. Really, I don't know what he's doing. Well, I don't know if he's calling someone. Let me see what's happening over here because I don't want to get... Oh yeah, there's right there. Flashlight right there. I know you guys see it blurry right now. But it's too much activity. The dogs are barking too much. So, it's a phone. I just saw it. It's a phone. He's moving. Now he's moving. He's making a phone call, apparently. We do not see anything. Okay, let me just be uh, <laughs> more clear to you. Uh, if I show you immediately... Uh, it's because I can't be, sh you know, standing right here and this is a really uh, difficult area that I'm at. Look, th the Border Patrol is over there again. He's searching for something. You see that? You see that flashlight right there on the top? See that flashlight? Right there on the mountain. See it? That's the Border Patrol. Look, they're looking for somebody. That's why this guy is using the phone. That's why this guy is using the phone. He's not using the phone just because he's still using it, really. Look, that's the Border Patrol right there with the flashlight on the cliff. And then you got this guy right here using the cell phone. So probably this guy right here on my right, as you see right there, that, that light right there, you see it? You see that light right there? that little space that is a cell phone probably this guy is calling this guy look there's the border patrol right there on the cliff and they're walking there's two agents right now there's a lot of activity and this guy right here on the cell phone probably is calling them and telling them hey you know what hide don't jump don't run and for everybody to know that little part right there between the wall and the other side of the United States is concrete. The, uh, the government of the United States just put that little road of concrete for the quads to be uh, running up and down from, this, uh, from that particular part and also for the Border Patrol agents so they can uh, walk more easily. So yeah, there's, there's activity right here. They're searching for somebody. As you can see, let me focus right there. You can see the flashlight right there.
that's the border patrol right there i believe that they found something or i don't know but they're constantly flashing on that particular spot It looks like he's struggling with something because the flashlight is moving all over the place. This is what I'm talking about, people. Is we were watching a we were doing a watch party yesterday of the Border Patrol. How difficult their job is, man. And really, this is snake season right now. And this border patrol is just right there in the middle of the cliff. It's going right now to the to the right, to my right. What the hell was that? As you can see right there. the top he's going with his flashlight and he's moving up and like something's going on like they 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 know that there's they know that there's somebody hiding the unit is moving the unit is moving up, up. They're going up. Right there, you see it. The unit just, they just moved. And something's going on. Something, they just found something. Because the move, the, the unit is accelerating. Border Patrol is right there in the middle of the bushes, man. With his flashlight. And I don't see the Border Patrol anymore. This is the problem that they leave this area right now unattended. It's, it's just a few border patrol, man. That is the problem. They need backup. And this is, this is the real problem. That it, there is just only a few of them. But you see a car right there. He's flashing the lights. He's just flashed the lights. He's on top. And there's only one border patrol. They're still looking for something. I see a flashlight again. But I don't know why there's they, they don't say no backup. So I see uh, more movement on the top. I think there's vehicles. Probably the apprehension. Uh, th that is why probably the the unit just moved because the apprehension is more to the far right, to the far left of the cliff. Busy night, yes. Busy night for them. This is why, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, uh, see a car right there moving again that's another agent so I was just telling you there's there's a lot of movement right now there was a lot of the ice we saw three individuals walking up and down right now over here do you have a scanner I wish I could <laughs> you see oh there you go right there the apprehension is over there as you see it. You see the you see the lights over there? There you go. That's your border patrol right there. 
That's your border patrol right there. They just apprehended people all the way to the top. They're putting their uh, sirens as, as you can see right there. So yes, people, Border Patrol did a good job right now. It's all the way to the top of the cliff. And they just apprehended people over there. You can see there's a lot of activity over there. And as we were seeing right now, this is, you know, I go always with my gut. <laughs> and really uh, today, <clears throat> the neighbor just called me and said, you know, uh, Blue, there's a lot of movement over there. They just apprehended like a whole bunch and there's more than 10 of them right there. We see a unit coming down again over here. Probably he's coming down to cover the area. And Oscar, you heard the Marines. You heard the Marines at Camp Pendleton were busted uh, for human drug trafficking, a whole pla uh, platoon Marines. Yes, that is embarrassing. Really, that is embarrassing because I have so much respect for the Marines. We, we have to see the case still and we have to see if it is uh, if it is a hundred percent accurate that they were doing that but as we know right now uh, if that is true man wow that is an embarrassment really so I have so much respect for the United States Marine Corps and the Army and all the armed forces uh, you know I got a family member that is a veteran from the National Guard so it is you know it is a shame but as I'm telling you right here at, if you live at the border the man it's just activity all over the place. Look, as you see in a car right here, moving up, another unit moving up. And there's there's a lot of activity right now, but you know, it's there's a lot of temptation in California regarding drug smuggling and, and trafficking. But you can see all the way to the top, the Border Patrol, uh, if they are over there with sirens, uh, it's because uh, they apprehended somebody. And that is why this guy over here was with the cell phone. That is why this guy was over here with the cell phone. Because he was calling, he was calling those people that they were on top. You see the Border Patrol right there coming down. that border patrol in the bottom it was just an automobile the one that you just saw it was just an automobile uh they move in in, in, in different cars and automobiles they're not only moving on border patrol units right now they're using every type of vehicle they can uh they can get so they can uh protect their country so a recap for everybody that is join, joining in. I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. We're live in Tijuana, Baja, California with this opening of this cliff right here. It's a cliff where the wall ends right there, that peak that you see at the end. And there's a lot of uh, irregular entrance right here to the United States. As I've been broadcasting on the page of Oscar Blue, this is a, a high-level activity uh, place where we have seen uh, bands right here parked, delivering people and a lot of cartel movement. Uh, not only that, uh, the rumor was, and, you know, I believe that it's a strong, uh, accurate, uh, op uh, you know, opinion from one of the neighbors. He just called me and he said, you know, a blue, there was an apprehension of a bunch of people right now. There was more than 10 people apprehended. And also, uh, we saw Border Patrol doing a hard work right here on this cliff. Uh, this, uh, you know, it's, it's really steam. And he can slip all the way to the to the bottom. Snake season also. It's another thing that is, you know, it's, it's difficult for them. But they are risking their lives to protect, the, you know, the United States. And all the way to the top, you can see that uh, they found 
probably they apprehend it right now. I'm, I'm pretty sure that they are apprehending uh, irregular migrants as they are turning on the sirens. We saw a lot of activity, a lot of people walking from this side all the way to the bottom. Uh, you know, apparently they know that it was going to be really difficult for them to cross. And right now the, the Border Patrol is on the top working as we speak. Uh, probably uh, taking uh, irregular migrants in custody. So that unit that you guys saw that it was parked right here is the same unit that is all the way to the top as they just apprehended uh, individuals crossing to the United States. So that's your border patrol right there doing uh, an amazing job to protect the United States and also to protect San Diego, California. That's the CBP from uh, San Diego, California that is working hard tonight. I just wanted to show you this real quick because it's really important for you guys to see that there's uh, the Border Patrol is always working non-stop. They're risking their lives to uh, basically, you know, protect uh, your country. I wish that, uh, and Maya, uh, and, and I will say right now, the customs from Mexico and Tijuana, they're doing a fantastic job. job. I want to just you know, give a quick shout out to every uh, uh, immigrant agent from Tijuana. They're doing a great and fantastic job with the National Guard. They're working together hand in hand. So I will, I will call it a night right now as we just came over here to broadcast for you guys to show you this. Uh, let me turn back here on the camera. What's going on everyone? I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. We're live right here at a particular place where Just looking back to see if there's more activity. Uh, you gotta be careful in these places. How you guys doing? I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. Uh, thank you everyone for uh, following my coverage. As we just saw something that it was uh, really important for you guys to see. We saw apprehension, sorry about the music. Uh, and we saw the Border Patrol working at a cliff. Real dangerous stuff. Also, we saw activity, irregular activity from uh, from these, uh, uh, you know, irregular migrants and also from coyotes that they were working on the phone as we were broadcasting. And they're really organized people. You know, you have to understand that these people are really, really organized. They're extremely organized. Uh, they know what they're doing. Uh, they're really, uh, uh, they, 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 they're really connected. Uh, they have uh, top-notch, you know, uh, equipment. They have uh, binoculars. They have night vision goggles. They have all these types of things. They they have all the equipment that they need for them to work the border. It's really, you know, it's it's amazing the equipment that they have. They have better equipment, you know, than the border patrol. They invest a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of money uh, in human trafficking, and it's the number one thing that is affecting right now the city the human trafficking and uh you know that particular point they had i don't know why they haven't built a wall right there i don't know why they haven't put the you know we've been broadcasting from that peak from that peak uh for more than three to four months and they haven't built a wall yet so i'm just surprised that they 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 haven't emphasized on that part so uh I'm just doing a little coverage for you guys today. Tomorrow, uh, be uh, uh, tomorrow we are, we will be live at Border Network News in the morning at uh, in a specific point. I will not say the place for security reasons, but tomorrow morning we will be live at the Border Network News page uh, between nine or ten o'clock in the morning, uh, West Coast time. That is around uh, you know one o'clock or twelve o'clock in the evening for you guys. So, uh, for you guys to know, um, you know, we did the little broadcast for, for, uh, for, for all the people that they follow BNN, Border Network News. Before I go, follow my partner, Conservative Anthony, as he's doing the best that he can 
to run for Congress for District 16, and he's working so hard to help the homeless veterans. That's one of the things that he's really focused on to help the homeless veterans. Uh, and also, we will be uh, doing some uh, undercover work in particular hotels that they're hosting uh, irregular migrant activity people. And have a great night. I'm Oscar Blue for Border Network News. Always remember, peace and love, everybody, because always your country is first.